ഹലോ വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു ലേൺ ഫിസിക്സ് ഇൻ ടുഡേസ് ടോപ്പിക് വി ആർ ഡിസ്കസിങ് സം ഓഫ് ദ പ്രീവിയസ് ഇയർ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ പേപ്പർ വിച്ച് ഐ ഗോട്ട് ത്രൂ നെറ്റ് ഓക്കെ സോ ദാറ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ പേപ്പർ ഐ ടുക്ക് സം ഓഫ് ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് വി വിൽ ഡിസ്കസ് ഓവർ ഹിയർ സോ മേ ബി ഐ തിങ്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി യൂസ്ഫുൾ ഫോർ യുവർ ഫോർ യുവർ എക്സാംസ് ആൻഡ് വിൽ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ഓക്കെ സോ ഇൻ യൂണിറ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് മെഷർമെൻറ്റ്സ് ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് ചാപ്റ്റർ Uh, some of the questions which is asked in the previous year as i told in the last video some of the state questions are like uh, state board exams for 11th as uh, public exam so the questions which i got from that one i'm discussing here okay it's not like it's very important questions and it can be asked and i uh, personally my opinion as i won't tell like important questions okay so, so whichever we are teaching you that are important only so if one question didn't come also ma'am that was not there in your uh, important question list okay so it's not about the uh, uh, list that we are making if we are studying one chapter study that chapter thoroughly okay if you are not able to complete one portion see selected questions from one chapter and some of the selected questions from other chapter so like that if you are learning all the cha- covering all the chapters uh, it is a risk factor is a risk factor is there in that uh, segregation that is the selection okay because if the cha- the question which we are missing if it comes to the exam means what you will do better than that see for each chapter see we, the board itself is sell, uh, telling so this many uh, for this much of marks we will be asking from this uh, particular chapter right so we should give that uh, give importance for that chapter okay so the cha- if you are not able to finish all the portion within the exam ta- uh, within the time then what you should do you can avoid one chapter which is uh, Uh, least important least important in the sense the uh, uh, amount of mark is less okay if mark is less from one chapter if you can't finish that portions then avoid that chapter fully and the other chapters cover it completely okay that is the uh, that is the suggestion from my side okay so without wasting time we will start suggest a method to measure the diameter of the moon it is a parallax method parallax method is the parallax method is the method used to measure the diameter of the moon how we will be finding out see the celestial object object will be here we will be considering two points a and b on earth okay then from the tele- using telescope we will be viewing this uh, object and from b also we will be viewing this object okay we can find out the angle here and the distance we can measure okay so from here you can find out that angle equals arc by radius so theta equals arc is ab divided by radius is if it is o oa then ab equals oa into theta or oe will be equal to oe only we required right distance of the moon from the earth so oe is required oe equals ab divided by theta okay like this we can find out the uh, uh, find out the distance from the sun to the or earth to the moon or any other celestial object the parallax method is the method used to find out the distance between the uh, 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 sun and the moon and here the question is to suggest a method to measure the diameter of the moon so how we can find out the diameter of the moon see if this is the position of uh, moon and here from here we can observe this point this side and from here we can observe this point and this distance theta okay o a b o a distance we know theta also we know therefore a b equals o a into theta this is how we will be finding out the diameter of the moon okay that's parallax method next question is length breadth thickness of a block is measured using vernier calipers 
the percentage errors in the measurements are 2 percentage, 1 percentage, 3 percentage, 2 percentage, 1 percentage and 3 percentage respectively. Estimate the percentage error in its volume. So length, breadth, height or thickness. Thickness only it is given. Okay. So we should find out the percentage error in finding out the volume. How we can find out the volume? Volume will be equal to LBH. That is the formula. L here since it is thickness, I am taking it as LB into T. So delta V by V into 100. Percentage error means this much only, right? So delta L by L into 100 plus delta V by V into 100 plus delta T by T into 100. Here it is percentage errors only it is directly given. So no need to do anything else because percentage error in length is 2 percentage. Percentage error in breadth is 1 percentage. Delta T by T into 100 is 1, 3 percentage. So you can take it as 2 plus 1 plus 3. So how much it is? Together it is 6 percentage. Okay, so delta just directly given the percentage error only it is given. Okay, percentage error and relative error how it is related. Suppose a, a question comes like this. See L is equal to um, L plus L dash equals L plus or minus delta L. So this will be the absolute value and this is the error. Okay, so relative error will be delta L by L will be the relative error. Delta L divided by L will be the uh, relative error. What is delta L? See from the true value minus measured value that is delta L. So delta L by L into 100 will be that is relative error. This relative error into 100 will give you percentage error. So here in the equation they had given already the percentage error. So each percentage error you can just add and find out the answer. Okay, because in, if it is a multiplication or an addition, see we should always add the errors. Okay, clear? So multiplication or division, okay, not addition. Multiplication if it is coming or division it is coming, we should add the errors. Clear? So next one is a physical quantity is given by H is equal to FV square by L. Find the dimension of H. So the physical quantity is given by H equals F V square divided by L. L dimension of H equals dimension of F into dimension of V square divided by dimension of L. Here L in question it is given as L is the angular momentum. So dimension of F is mass into acceleration. Mass acceleration is velocity divided by time. So Lt to the power minus 2. This is force. Velocity is Lt to the power minus 1. Displacement divided by time. So Lt to the power minus 1 divided by the whole square the equal to angular momentum what is the uh, expression for angular momentum l is equal to r cross p okay r is l p is mv l t to the power minus 1 so m l square t to the power minus 1 okay so while we are solving m m will get cancelled so l t to the power minus 2 L square t to the power minus 2 divided by L square t to the power minus 1. L square and L square will get cancelled. So and t to the power minus 1 and t to the power minus 1 will get cancelled. 1 minus 1 will be existing over here. So we will be getting it as L t to the power minus 3. Okay, this is the expression for H. Okay, dimensional formula for H is find the dimension of H. H is Lt to the power minus 3. Clear? Same way another question is given. The centripetal force on a body in circular motion is given by F is equal to mv square by r. Find the dimension of F. How we can find out the dimension of F? M 
L t to the power minus 1 the whole square divided by L. This will be the dimension, right? So, we will be getting it as M L square t to the power minus 2 divided by M L. So, we will get it as M L t to the power minus 2. Okay, that is the dimension of F uh, for circular motion. Okay, then using the above formula, write an equation to find the percentage error in centripetal force. How we can find out the percentage error in centripetal force? Delta F by F into 100. This only we should find out. This is the percentage error. Right, so uh, yeah. Z A equals x to the power y, um, y sorry x to the power p, y to the power q divided by z to the power r. Like that one question is uh, in the theory we are explaining percentage error how we will find out delta A by A into 100 that is equal to p into delta x by x into 100 plus q into delta y by y into 100 plus r into delta z by z into 100 okay that is the way the same method you should write down here also so previous uh, um, question we did it in the same manner so you try to solve and then in between while i am telling the question please stop the uh, video pause the video try to write down your answer then you verify then that method only will be useful for you if you are simply watching the video it's of no use while you are seeing that you will feel ah it is easy i can do it but while you are doing that one then only you can understand your uh, uh, what are the mistakes mistakes you can understand so if you don't know about it just see go through once then again take the video and take the question alone pause it and verify your answer okay please do it in that way then only this video will be useful for you okay so delta f by f into 100 equals delta m by m into 100 here what is the power 2 2 into delta v by v into 100 plus delta r by r into 100 i told you this is uh, uh, what is that division also we should add uh, multiplication if it is coming also you should add uh, division if it is coming also you should add okay clear how we are finding out the percentage error so the next one is what is the number of significant figures in 0 0.050 newton 0 0.050 newton in that see this is the number uh, more than zero right so these numbers we can't consider as significant figures but these two numbers we will consider as significant figures so how many number of significant figures will be there two significant figures are there okay clear so the numbers which are coming before the whole number won't be considered as a zeros which is coming before the whole number will be consider won't be considering as you are uh, significant figures but the numbers which are coming after the uh, decimal point after the decimal point which and all numbers are coming that and all we will consider as uh, what is that mm, significant figures so they these two we won't consider if it is if this zero is coming decimal point but it is before the whole number so after the whole number after the decimal point whichever zeros are coming that zeros we will be considering as uh, significant figures that is trailing zeros are considered as significant figures okay so here the number of significant figures are two clear the next one is correctness of an equation is checked using the principle of homogeneity for an equation x is equal to a plus bt plus ct square where x is measured in meters t in second what will be the dimension of b okay that is the question okay correctness of equation is find out using the homogeneity x is equal to a plus bt plus ct square so here x is in meters and t in seconds it is given okay x in meters and t is in seconds if we need to, we want to find out the dimension of what is that dimension of b we should find out okay so if we are adding these things 
what will be the dimension of a dimension of x will be the dimension of a dimension of bt will uh, will be equal to dimension of x dimension of ct square will be equal to dimension of x in that way while we are considering dimension of x will be equal to dimension of bt this is the simple logic which we sh we should use like if we are adding something and getting a result so each thing which each term which we are adding will be the see if we are adding four pence and five pence we can together write it as nine pence if i am writing nine equals five plus four five pence four plus four pence right it won't be pencil right so in the same method while we are uh, taking here also see x is equal to bt so we need to find out the dimension of b so dimension of b will be equal to dimension of x divided by dimension of t dimension of x is m because it is measured in meter so length it is t as in second so divided by time so we will be getting it as mt to the power minus 1 so if you want you can write it as l to the power 0 also okay so this will be the dimension of b okay next one significant figures determine the accuracy of the measurement of a physical quantity the radius of a sphere is given as 0 0.03 meters so the radius is given as 0 0.03 meters how many significant figures are there in it tell me how many significant figures are here in it one significant figure right then if the percentage error in calculating the radius of a sphere is 2 percentage so delta r by r into 100 that is given as 2 percentage okay then what will be the percentage error in calculating the volume how we can find out the volume of a sphere 4 by 3 pi r cube so while we are taking the percentage error delta v by v into 100 that will be equal to 3 into these are constants constants don't have any uh, uh, change in our error right they don't have any error so 3 into delta r by r into 100 so here we will be getting it as 3 into delta r by r into 100 is given as 2 so the total error in percentage error in volume is 6 percentage okay clear so the next one is velocity of a sound depends on density and modulus of elasticity the dimensional formula uh, this state the principle of homogeneity and using the above principle arrive at an expression for the velocity of sound take k as 1 okay so velocity of a sound is depending on which and that quantities density and modulus of elasticity modulus of elasticity okay here actually in the question they had given the modulus of elasticity dimension but you know you already studied about the modulus of elasticity right so now no uh, point in giving the dimension of uh, this one this modulus of elasticity term right so here velocity v equals is directly proportional to or v is directly proportional to density rho to the power x and modulus of elasticity any one of the modulus of elasticity you can write if you are taking e also it's fine e to the power y okay otherwise young's modulus or uh, uh, bulk modulus or shear modulus any one you can use okay so v to the power uh, like this you should write now you should find out the dimension for each and everything dimension of v is l t to the power minus 1 dimension of rho is mass by volume so m l to the power minus 3 mass by volume volume is l b h or l cube anything you can consider anyway it will be l to the power minus 3 only then dimension of modulus of elasticity as modulus of elasticity means stress by strain strain don't have any 
dimension since it is the length by length volume by volume we are considering so strain has no dimension or unit so stress alone you should consider what is stress stress is mass uh, sorry force by area right so it is pressure so mlt to the power minus 2 divided by l square the answer will be m l to the power minus 1 t to the power minus 2 here in your question it is given uh, dimension of modulus of elasticity but we are not sure every time they will be giving or not so better understand modulus of elasticity will be equal to dimension of force by dimension of area okay so here we can substitute all these values over here so, so this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 substituting the values of 2 in equation 1 we will get it as l t to the power minus 1 that is proportional to rho instead of rho m l to the power minus 3 to the power x and dimension of e is m l to the power minus 1 t to the power minus 2 the whole power y now what we should do equating the powers of m l and t okay so here equate l t to the power minus 1 equals a constant k into in the question it is given as k is equal to 1 so m l to the power minus 3 the whole power x m l to the power minus 1 t to the power minus 2 the whole power y so equating powers of m l and t what we will get first m left side m is 0 right side m to the power x and m to the power y so it is x to the x plus y here l while we are considering left side l to the power 1 so that is equal to here minus 3x here it is minus y so minus 3x minus y then t how what will be the dimension of t minus 1 equals here it is minus 2y so here y equals 1 by 2 so substituting this value over here you will get 1 is equal to minus 3x minus half so 1 plus 1 by 2 equals minus 3x this will give you so 3 by 2 equals minus 3x so 3 and 3 will get cancelled you will get x is equal to minus half okay so here substituting the values of x and y in equation 1 so substituting the values of x and y we you will get it as v equals rho to the power minus half and e to the power half okay so you will get e by rho root v equals e root of e by rho okay so this is the equation for velocity of sound using dimensional analysis actually this one you are learning it in your uh, yes uh, waves chapter okay so you from this root of b by rho like that you are studying there in the for in the case of longitudinal wave okay velocity of a longitudinal wave the same method only we are adopting there okay so i think this much is clear for you next day also i'll be continuing in the same manner only so i think it was it will be useful for you and if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching bye